Hello to you, I hope that you're well and welcome to this week's English lesson. I'm Carly from Learn English with Carly and today you find me in a park here in North Vancouver by the name of Princess Park. Behind me you can see what looks like a kind of broken down tree but it's actually a sculpture, a silver sculpture of a tree. I want to tell you a little bit about this sculpture. This sculpture is by two artists called Cheryl Hamilton and Michael van der Meer. It reflects nature's ongoing organic transformation of matter into energy and of life into life. And it's placed here at the edge of the forest to invite us to venture into nature with respect and reverence. Now, I hope you found that as interesting as I did. I know how much you love my video lessons on everyday English idioms. So I have picked five idioms this week that I have heard family and friends using and secondly, that contain the names or are about people. Before I start this language presentation today, please click that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I really appreciate it. This is a wonderful community of English learners, so please feel free to write to me. I love hearing from you. So write a comment below this video to practice these idioms today, or just to say hi, and let me know where you are from in the world. I can't wait to hear from you. Okay, our first idiom today is the real McCoy. If something is the real McCoy, then it means that it is genuine, it is real, it is not fake. Let's see how we use it in everyday English sentences. The diamond ring is the real McCoy. No fake rings here. The pizza Alice made was the real McCoy. No frozen pizza. The two men tried to discover whether the banknotes were fake or the real McCoy. The dress had a designer label, but I couldn't tell if it was the real McCoy or not. Our second everyday English idiom today is a jack of all trades. Are you a jack of all trades? If you are a jack of all trades, then this is used to describe someone who can fix a variety of things or who can do a variety of jobs. Our friend Terry is a jack of all trades. He can paint, do some plumbing, and also garden. Karen fixed the photocopier today. She really is a jack of all trades. This is of course a positive thing, to have some skills in lots of different areas. However, the original phrase was, a jack of all trades, a master of none. This means that you can fix a variety of things with some success, but you are not an expert in one area. Those who diverse too much run the risk of being a jack of all trades and a master of none. Do you know anyone who is a jack of all trades? Our third idiom is to keep up with the Joneses. I love this idiom. Lots of people do this and I wonder if you try to keep up with the Joneses or not. To keep up with the Joneses means to want the same expensive things that your neighbors or friends have because you are worried about being less important socially. You feel inferior to your neighbors or friends. Dan and Tracy are always buying new things. I think they're trying to keep up with the Joneses. Eric bought the same car as his neighbor Mick. He's really trying to keep up with the Joneses. If you want to keep up with the Joneses in this neighborhood, you need to have three cars and a swimming pool. Our fourth idiom this week is Tom, Dick and Harry. Now these are three men's names. Dick is a tricky name as is the old fashioned name, the shortened name for Richard. However, the word dick is also vulgar slang for a male's reproductive organs. So be very, very careful if you use this word. Okay, back to Tom, Dick and Harry. 
If we refer to all three names in a sentence, we mean ordinary people in general, everyone or everybody. Shannon doesn't want every Tom, Dick and Harry knowing her business. The boss didn't want every Tom, Dick and Harry knowing about his private life. I asked you to keep my plan secret, but you've told every Tom, Dick and Harry. You had better be careful who you tell about your party. You don't want every Tom, Dick and Harry turning up. And our fifth and final everyday English idiom today is a smart aleck. If you are a smart aleck, then you think you know everything. And then this is of course annoying to others. Nobody likes a smart aleck. This is a phrase that a parent or a teacher might use with a child if the child thinks that they know everything. I've certainly used it with my son. Claire doesn't like working with Ethan. He's such a smart aleck. In the past, Trevor was such a smart aleck, but he saw the error of his ways. Do you know someone who is a bit of a smart aleck? Okay, five everyday English idioms using people. How did you find this English video lesson today? I hope that you have found it useful. Which of these five idioms will you use in your everyday English? Hopefully you will hear or read some of these idioms this week. I do hope so. Thank you for joining me today in a back to normal rainy Vancouver and I look very much forward to working with you again next week in our next English video lesson. Take care in the meantime. Thank you. Bye.